Andy. You're already reaping the rewards of the rewards of yesterday's work, aren't you? Good. Not too fast, Dina. Job. <clears throat> and now canter. Yeah, well done. Push, push, push. That's right. Yeah, quite right. That was good. Job. And canter. That's right. Forward, forward. Keep it going. There we go. Yeah, good. Right, give him, give him a break. That's a really good start. Hmm. Yeah, I can, 
All right, so pick him up now. Time to put him to work. Now just give him a little nudge with your leg. Just get him up underneath you a little bit more. Go on, send him forward. Send him forward into the bridle. Don't let him duck behind the bit now. Keep him on the rein. That's it. Reins are a bit long, actually. Good, good. That's it. And now halt. Now walk. Now keep your hands very, very still. And just push him into the bridle. Right now, trot. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Push. That's it. And now walk. And trot. That's it. Now and now walk. Now right, your hands still, your reins are still a bit too long. Right, you've just got to try to create a connection there. Your elbows are coming out behind you. Push him out into the bridle. And then trot. That's it. And hold him. Push him. Push him. Good. And now a shoulder in on the long side. Come on, come on, come on. That's it. Now lengthen his trot on a circle. 20 meters. Now go, go, go. That's it. Now bring him back. And shoulder in again. That's right. And again, lengthen his trot, 20 meter circle. Go on. And now bring him back. Good. That's it, go large. And walk. And trot. That's it. And walk. And trot. Good job. That's it. Change the rein. And now walk. And trot. And lengthen. And circle. Go on. Hand still. Don't snatch on the left rein. Push, push, push. And now bring him back. Outside rain, you're getting a little too much bend in the neck. Push. That's it. Shoulder in. Good. 20 meter circle. Lengthen. And now bring him back. Shoulder in again. 
Good. And lengthen into a circle again. Yes. Good. And bring him back. And now make a shallow loop. Push, push. That's it. Bend left. Bend left. Bend left. That's it. Hands together. Push. Don't bend too much. There's too much bend to the right. Good. And now walk. And trot. Good. And walk. And trot. Come on, come on, come on. That was a sluggish transition. Not too fast. Good. Now, Dana, he's got a massive bend in his neck. He's still bending to the right. And now change the rein. And now walk. And trot. And bend him left. And shoulder in. And medium trot posting on a circle. Come on. Now back. Go large. And now halt. And trot. That's much more like it, huh? Bend him. Bend him! Ah, you're so lazy about this bend to the left. Left leg, come on, left leg. That's it. And now halt. And trot. Straight into it. Come on. Yes. And halt. And trot. Good. That's it. And halt. And walk. Give him a break. That's more like it, huh? Yeah. The days of him, when you ask him to halt, of him just hollowing out, throwing his head in the air, those should be well behind you now. Yeah. You've got to have this connection. You've got to create it. Okay? So once you have done the warm-up, you've really got to put the screws to him a little bit more. And every time you do something that requires just a little bit of collection, the least little bit of collection, always follow it by something that requires extension at this point. That was looking really good. Now by doing this, we're going to get him more underneath himself behind. So he's going to come up through his chest more, up through his withers more. But you've got to have this connection now to make that happen. So pick him up now. Now halt. And walk. Go forward, go forward. Now keep your hands still, Dina. You see you're doing this. Now get him into the bridle. And trot. 
That's it. Watch the curb now. Lighten up in the curb. Now connect. Get the connection. Push him up. That's it. And now walk. Now halt. Now trot. That's it. Keep your hands more in front of you. Shorten your reins. Push him up. That's it. Good. And now shorten the trot. Push him up. Push him up. Lighten up on the curb. Push him up. And now come forward again. That's it. And shorten the trot. Legs, push him up. Up, up, up. And come forward again. A little short in the next hill. Get off the curb. And now shorten the trot. Bring him up, push him up, get him up, get him up in front. Your hands are way back to in your lap. Now, now slow the trot down, slow the tempo. He doesn't have to be fast to be forward. And now make a shoulder in. Push him up, up, up. Legs, little kick, little kick, little kick. That's it. Now run there. Yeah. Good. Now medium. And now bring it back. Right back. Push him up. Slowly. Slowly. And shoulder in, slowly. And run there. Good. And straighten. Now don't let him drop down in front. Push him up. That's it, more uphill. You haven't, you're not bending him to the left. And change the rein. And now medium. Now bring him back. Make him sit. Push him up. Legs, legs, legs. Not sideways, not sideways. Make him straight. He's too, he's too down on the forehand. Push him up. That's it. Shorten the trot. And shoulder in. And run there. Come on, bend, bend, bend his neck. Come on, bend him. Left leg, left leg. Bend him around your left leg. Yes. Sit down, don't come off your seat. That's it. Once again, shoulder in. And run there. Bend him. Soften your left hand. There you go. Good. Slowly. Slowly. And push him up. And now shoulder out. Bend him left. Bend him left. There, now straighten. Push him up, up, up. So you're letting him drop down in front. Push him up. Balance him with a half halt. 
That's going way too fast, way too fast. And now halt. And halt. And trot. Don't bend him right. Don't bend him to the neck and to the right. Shoulder out. That's it. Now straighten. And halt. And trot. And bend him left. And halt. Good. Ah, pity. And trot. Bend him left. And halt. And trot. And halt. And walk. Give him a break. Much better. And that walk is not acceptable. Come on, come on. That's it. You can let him stretch. You can take a breather yourself, but you must keep him marching forward. It's all part of the work ethic, you know? You okay? What's that? <laughs> As if I cared, right? Yeah. Now, you see what I'm getting at here? Yeah. You've got to make this connection happen now. You have the foundation for it. So now you've got to get him to sit. Come up underneath you and stay connected. You okay? Do you need water or anything? No. Okay, pick him up then. That's it. Now you've got too much bend in the neck. Now lengthen your curb rein. So the curb, I want the curb rein in a loop. Don't bend his neck. That's it. Give him a little kick. Come on, little kick. Little kick. Get him up underneath you. Little kick. The curb rein is not in a loop. Get him, I said, bring him up. Left leg, left leg. He's falling against the left leg. Left leg. That's right. Now straighten. That's it. Bring him up. Push him up. Legs. Little nudge with your leg. That's right. Good. Good. There, up. Push him up. Come on, little nudge with your legs. Come on, little nudge, nudge, nudge. And now straighten him. And now canter. Uphill. Good. This is much better. That's it. The reins are still a bit long. Stay off the curb. 
Make a shoulder in. That's right. Good. And now, haunch is in. That's it. Now don't let him fall on his forehand when you take it out of it, when you take him out of it. Keep riding him uphill. Up, 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 collect. You see, he lost the collection. You dropped him down. Legs, push him up, don't kick. Little nudge, push him up. That's it. And now haunches in. Collect. Yeah. That's it. Now keep him coming uphill like this when you come out of it. Up, up, legs. Collect the canter. Highly collected canter. Now your leg reins are way too long. So you're having to lean back. Now make a circle. That's it. And haunch is in again. Good. Now circle. Spiral in on the circle. And now push the haunches in on a small circle, about eight meters. About eight meters. Now come out of it, keep that feel. Don't drop him down, up, up, up. And now walk. And now halt. Now, you should be able to do this without using the curb. So you get him really tucked in here. And then when you come out of the exercise, you felt in that haunches in how uphill he became. Yes. Same thing in the shoulder in. As soon as you came out of it, he dropped down. He flattened. And you've got to continue to keep him uphill off your seat more. Now, if your reins get too long, you end up leaning back and stiffening against him. Do you see what I mean? Now, you've got to be able to sit light and, and wrap your leg around him and make him come up underneath you. That's what you have to be able to do. Now, if you're leaning back, you're not sitting light. You're just pushing your seat hard into him, pushing him downhill. So you must keep your hands in front of you. So your rein length mustn't get so long that you end up with your, with your hands in your lap and your elbows coming out behind you. You've got to be able to sit light and and make him contract his abs and bring his back up underneath you. So now walk him on again. Now put him into a circle. Good. Now halt. Now walk, walk, now give him a kick. Tell him to get on with it. Now careful, don't get his head too low. Push him up. That's it, there. Good. Don't let him drop the bit, don't let him drop behind it. Now halt, legs. And now walk. Now pull, do you see, you pull back on the outside rein when he walked. So you shorten his neck. Now he's way too deep in front. Push him up. And just make some half steps. Let him come forward. Draw your legs further back, further back, further back. Let him come forward. Now draw your legs back. 
Just a little tap, tap, tap with your leg. Very light. That's it. Don't pull on him. Keep him very light in the bridle. And don't let him drop down. Let's see, when you get too much on the curb, then he curls up. Loosen the curb. Now, bring him up. Bring his head up a little bit. Just a little bump up with your hand. Bring his head up a little bit. Don't let him hide behind the bit. No refuge behind the bit. Now, try some half steps again. Just relax up there and just, that's it. Now let him come forward. Hands very still. That's it. Now just use your leg, not your spur. So keep him round. That's it. Good. And now trot. That's it. Hold yourself up. Sit tall. That's it. Push him up. That's it. Keep it forward without going fast. That's it. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Now push. That's it. Keep it uphill. Much better. Now just shorten the trot. Your hands back in your lap, isn't it? Completely in your lap. There. There. Careful. Don't shorten the neck. That's the way. Well done. And now canter. Uphill, uphill. That's it. Little leg, little leg. That's it. Now, highly collected canter. Hand still. Keep him round. And then a little überstreichen. Now pick him up. Legs, wrap your leg around him. Highly collected canter. Shorten it, shorten it, shorten it. Überstreichen. And come forward again. Uphill, keep it uphill. That's downhill. Now you let him fall on the forehand now completely. The reins are too long. Pull the top rein through, not the bottom one. Must not let these reins get so long. There. Good. Good. Now make a half pass. That's the way. Now straighten and change. That's it. Now a few steps medium. Now don't bend his neck. Now bring it back. Up, up. Keep his neck straight. Up, legs, your lower legs too far forward. And on the circle. And highly collected canter. Shorten it right up. Come on, shorten it more. And Ibrusreichen. There. You're bending his neck again. You're letting him go downhill. Come on, push him up. Up. That's lack of leg right there. Okay, now your hands, your reins are too long. You had to lean back a little bit there. Get off the curb. That's it. There. Good, good, good. And highly collected canter. Make him sit. Up, up, up. Don't bend his neck. See, so you've lost his shoulder. Now, as soon as you lose his shoulder, you can't keep the collection. See, now he's on the forehand. That's 
it. Bend him left. Counter flex. That's it. Now straighten him. Keep him up, uphill, uphill. And highly collected canter. Keep him straight. Hold your legs around him. Keep your hands still. Up, up, up. Now come forward. Without dropping him. Without letting him go downhill. That's the way. Now shorten your top rein. You're on the curb again. Now you're bending him again. All right, now make a half pass. Uphill. Up, up. And now turn right. Turn right. That's it. Shoulder in. That's it. Now you've got way too much curve again. Keep his neck straight. Bend him left. That's it. Now counter flex. That's it. Uphill. That's it. Good. Now make a circle. There. Good. Good. Collect. Now, another half pass. This time, don't let him take nearly so much ground forward. The reins are getting long, dangerously long. Collect. And straighten. And change. Good. And now, medium. Keep it uphill, up, and right back. Make him sit, up, 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 legs, legs. Yeah. And now forward to trot. Up, push him up, keep him up, up. That's it. Keep him pole high. Right up. Good. And shoulder in. Keep it uphill. Make him sit. Push him up. Good. And now half pass. And go straight ahead. Track to the right. Good. Shoulder in. He's going downhill. Push him up. Too much angle. Too much. Now a circle. That's too much angle. Don't bend it. No, he's dropping down now. Push him up. Make a half halt and push him up. Too much. Too much. Good. Now straighten. Counter flex. That's it. Push him up. He's going downhill. And shoulder in. That's it. And half pass. Good. And track to the right. And on the diagonal, medium trot. That's the way. Right, and now walk him. Thank God that's over, she says. Oh my God, Jeremy, what? Put a burr under your side. No, no, I'm putting a oh burr under yours. God. I'm putting the burr under yours. Oh. <laughs> now, you see what it's got to be, though? Do you feel it?
I told you, it's a whole new ball game at this level. I told you that. <laughs> See, he's gorgeous when you ride him like that. <coughs> no mercy. No mercy. <laughs> You'll thank me one day. <laughs>